When you name an honors college, it means that someone is investing in you, the donor is investing in you, and it really is about forming a partnership. The Clarks are the perfect partnership in, in my mind. Um, Number one, they both are uh, alumni of Salisbury University, but their story is a great story. It's, it's where they met, it's where their story starts. We met in the registration line in Holloway Hall. They had tables according to your uh, last name. I was Chatham, obviously, and he was Clark. And um, then we saw each other in a few classes and around campus. We saw each other a lot and especially in the student union because we were both commuter students mm -hmm. and so then we started dating and after I went in the Air Force we corresponded weekly and daily and then mm -hmm. uh, decided to get married. We're both first generation college students. We're the first person in our family ever to go to college. I only went to SU for two years and then when I got out of the Air Force after seven years, I started work at Northampton Community College. I did a variety of positions there. I ended up as Dean of Business Engineering and Technology. And then in 1984, I was selected President of Vermont Technical College. We value education so much. And of course, SU is, stands for education. And really, education has been a part of our lives, not only at SU, but um, throughout um, my husband's professional career as well. We've been on college campuses for forever almost, right? Yeah. And so it's just a, a, a fit. We've, we're donating $1.5 million to endow the Clark Honors College. And of course, there'll be three sub honors colleges underneath the umbrella the business, the science and technology, and the arts and sciences. But we're firm believers in education, and the 1.5 million is an endowment because we wanted to have something long lasting, something that would be there long after we're gone. And we wanted to invest in people, the students, not buildings. They're the future of our country, and we wanna make sure that they have all the advantages that they possibly can. The Clark gift really makes a, a tremendous difference. When you name a college, it really means something. It's, it brings it to that next level and, and hopefully um, use that name to move forward and to evolve as an honors college. And one of the things that we're hoping to do is really have Glenda and Bob become more involved with our students. I know that that is something that they are very passionate about and our students are really um, up for that kind of challenge. It, it really is a game changer for us. Both of them are educators, they're passionate people, and they're generally good people that want to see the world evolve and want to see us talk about citizenship and what it means to be a global citizen as well as giving back to one's community. In addition to the 1.5 million to endow the Honors College, we're giving an annual gift to the Honors College that is spent at the discretion of the Dean so that he can enhance the student experiences within the Honors College, and that's important. I think that giving back to education is something that just it makes so much sense because education is something that is always continuing always growing and I think that when you have the means to fund something like that you're funding the next generation of leaders of teachers entrepreneurs uh, anything you can really think of and I think that that is a super valuable place to be putting those funds so I think it's really important uh, that donors or, or alumni are able to give back to the school because without that generosity and kindness, students like myself wouldn't be able to explore the sort of impact that we can have. When we have the tools that are provided by, by donations and by giving back to the school, we're able to fully develop and, and see ourselves through to our success. SU is an integral part of this community and by supporting the SU, supporting President White, Dean Martino and others efforts and it's important that we do the things now that set the foundation for the future and that's why we've done endowments because in that way the money is there for forever and it'll be there to support the institution, the students and the community.